WWE have no creative plans for a new signing. Plus, the WWE merger is set to complete next week, and LA Knight's SmackDown status has had an update. Yeah, it's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. Let's take you back to Backlash. In Puerto what Rico! A what a night that was. Oh, I can't wait night. till we go back to Puerto Rico. It's great, wasn't it? I can't wait. Lovely time. Just, just, oh man, the crowd. The crowd were the biggest winner of the night. And do you know what? We all won because we got Savio Vega back on our telly, which was great. And Carlito got, yeah. the, got a monster after, pop. After years of everybody going, hey WWE, why don't you bring back Carlito? Look at him, he's in great shape. Look at Carlito, still there, WWE. Get Carlito back. We got him back. <laughs> Or have they? Oh, yeah. Now, his status has been <laughs> up in the air. Uh, Dave Meltzer's given us an update on what Cal where Carlito is at with WWE. Yeah, he said uh, he pulled off all his indies. Uh, that sounds really wrong, but he pulled off all his <laughs> indies and they were ready to start. He had a start date. He went, he was there. They couldn't figure out what to do with him and they still haven't figured out what to do with him. Carlito impressed people backstage with his brief but fiery mm. appearance at WWE Backlash, as we mentioned, mm. and was rumored to be returning to WWE's recent SmackDown from Madison Square Garden, but never appeared. Turn him immediately heel, put him in there with LA Knight, god damn. It's easy money, isn't it? I've seen a few people suggest <laughs> make him part, make him the, the leader of the LWO. Oh, that would also work fantastically. Freeze up Rey Mysterio for I think other things. The, the problem is he's been gone for so long, people just want to cheer him. So, yeah. so <laughs> Just Carly O in the elder statesman role as well. Like, given how young he was in that initial run, I think it's it like a, a certain beauty to that. It's like bookend on either side of Carly O's I run. I think that's a really lovely way to do it. Uh, so, as it stands, uh, he's just on the sidelines. And the fear is, and this was brought up on Wrestling Observer Live as well, that we could have a potential Harry Smith type situation where he was brought yeah. back and had a dark match and then interviewed. And he was like, really happy to be back. This is great. And then we never saw him on telly. And then he was released. Yeah. And there's, there's a bit of a fear of that being, you know, potentially a thing generally when it comes to, to staff numbers with the, the the merger deal that's about to go through, isn't there? And uh, looking at toward that merger deal, uh, PW Insider is saying the belief within WWE is that the Endeavor takeover could go down as early as next week. Uh, there's a lot of employees gritting their teeth to see what this means for their future. And it's got to be a very scary time to be a you know, member of staff there, whether you're in office or you know one of the in-ring talents or production crew. There's so many roles that are potentially up in the air here with a merger. Well, Jeremy, from what we've heard in terms of the, the roster and stuff there's no changes planned but you know uh, yeah. as with anything uh, it's the behind the scenes where we're expected to see uh, or not expected to see anything because it's behind the scenes but yeah. there'll be some changes because suddenly you've got sort of two marketing departments two travel departments two payroll departments just sell the tape together <laughs> back to sell back. Tape and, and then they can just see everything at all times <laughs> Uh, Margaret and Colin have been sellotaped together for three days you get three them big circular, circular desks and then people don't even need to leave <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is Sam Driver's vision of running a business. So let's save everyone together. What do you think is so about to happen upstairs, oh, Tom? We're all getting circular desks, aren't we? <laughs> oh, no. I'll miss my cat, mainly. Maybe my wife. I'll bring, I'll my bring them by once a week for you. Thank you, mate. That'd, be, that'd mean a lot. <laughs> but yeah, so this uh, with any merger, there's going to be some 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 teething issues yeah. and some things that take place. And, and it looks as if from next week, we'll start seeing those changes. And something that you brought up in the last video is true. It could have a major creative impact with WWE's product because all of a sudden, Vince McMahon isn't a controlling shareholder anymore. Yeah, it's like 12%, I think it was. It might mm. be different now. That was the initial report. You know, that was, and again, it was a report, so it could be more, but uh, it's still, they don't have kind of the, the controlling share of it. So for the first time, it's going to be somebody else really making the shots, like calling the shots there. Yeah, part of a raft of changes that could be on the horizon for WWE. PW Insider also reporting that Fox is shutting down the out-of-character WWE podcast. This is the one that was hosted by Ryan Satin. He mm. announced recently that he was stepping away from that role yeah. and was thankful for the time that he had. Uh, but PW Insider sort of see this as... Um the bigger changes, they say that it would certainly lead to someone to lead us to believe that the WWE Fox relationship is starting to wind down. Yeah. It was only ancillary Fox WWE programming in recent months beyond the random one hour weekend afternoon TV special. And none of those are on the horizon. It's, you know, they're no stranger to jumping from network to network. It's obviously having a secure network is the best for everybody, but at the same time, you know, with the, the record profits they're posting, with all of that stuff, I don't think they're going to really struggle to maybe find a new landing 
landing spot for shows like SmackDown or, you know, should any network issue arise, I think that with this merger, the potential is there for things to go off in maybe an entirely new network direction. Uh, so it's one of those things where we're just going to have to keep our ear to the ground, isn't it? But again, like, you know, losing the Out of Character podcast, I think it was one of the stronger podcasts that they produce, uh, mm. WWE. And, and I think that, well, it was, you know, Fox and WWE, but uh, I think that it's just... It's a bit sad, but at the same time, you know, there's going to be, it's going to open up potentially avenues down the line for much more content in that vein. And they'll probably do more stuff within house as opposed to with Fox. Yeah. I think it'll be more stuff that they create themselves. Yeah, they'll for sure. Of, they'll, be, they'll, they'll, they'll create their own news, essentially. Um, Five Full Select reporting uh, an update about Zoe Star. Uh, yeah, so Five Full Select saying she's made a great impression early on in WWE, and those they've spoken to have said Stark has been getting great reviews from the talent she's worked with, on the main roster, in addition to several backstage for how she's handled the call-up and the duties associated with it. They're told that WWE had their eye on her pretty early on, uh, and and she gained praise for her resilience in returning from her knee injury and not missing a beat in the ring. She's somebody we do hear a lot about in this regard, so you've got to imagine, you know, her future is going to be a pretty safe one uh, with maybe a fast track to, to some gold if she keeps going. Well, I think it's without without question there's a fast track to gold there. Yeah. Because I, I think she's fantastic. Yeah. I think the moment she arrived on NXT, she was immediately comfortable and strong in the ring. She's just a standout, ring. right? Yeah. Like, you don't often get that from kind of talent that are that fresh. And in the, in the role that she's played in the Trish Stratus Becky Lynch feud, I think she hasn't felt out of place. I think no. she's absolutely held her own. And the fact that this could now potentially transition into a Becky Lynch Zoe Stark feud uh, is, is brilliant. Or even a Trish Stratus Zoe Stark feud, if you wanted to go Talk in that Talk about direction. just like getting a perfect landing. Oh my God. <laughs> a perfect landing and then just absolutely owning it with every step that you make. Yeah. Like it's she's set up for great things. Absolutely. Big fan of Zoe Stark. Uh, Kevin Owens was set up to be a part of Raw on Monday. Monday night. You heard the commentators say, well, Kevin Owens isn't here. Uh, we saw Sami Zayn and Jay Uso uh, reuniting and it felt so good. Uh, Kevin was meant to be there competing against JD McDonough, but PW Insider say that segment was scrapped uh, not long before the show started. He was just so good about the CM Punk news. Is that what it he was? He couldn't even come to work. <laughs> no, I, you know, we've seen things like this change uh, on the fly quite a lot. You know, we, we had the whole period where Vince was tearing up scripts. We've had, you know, many, many, many more blatant and obvious kind of no this is all changing situations but ultimately like just little things like slight segments over running or oh god we need to actually do this we're gonna have to push this to next week or there's all sorts of little things that kind of uh that go into live tv production obviously and so many little things that can be sort of an oversight i guess and it's like, oh god no we need to do this and this so we're gonna have to maybe put this on the back burner at the same time maybe they've changed the idea for how they wanted to go with it uh, there's all sorts of things i guess that that could be a factor here but i'm assuming that you know if this is going to continue we'll probably see the like early rumblings of it next week or on socials this week building through or something i kind of like the fact that they kept him away and i think it's something that will bubble away because we had sammy Zayn and jay uso hugging in the ring and yeah. like an all piece being made we know that kev was kind of on the periphery of that mm. bit there and maybe i think keeping him off this week and a Allowing that to happen allows you to tell a story bit next of, week. Bit of breathing room, right? Yeah. yeah. It allows Kev and Jay to maybe have a segment <clears> where <throat> Jay tries to extend the olive branch and Kev's like, no, yeah. you were a horrible man. <laughs> um, so it, it adds something to that. I, I, we mentioned on the on a video earlier this week, they've got this SmackDown, um, this this compensation for SmackDown. Yeah. Uh, because SmackDown fell off a ladder at work. Um, <laughs> Injury lawyers for you. <laughs> Have you been hurt? Have we need compensation? <laughs> Call Brian Butterfield. Um, because they're doing this compensation thing for SmackDown. And I had the idea that maybe you have it so Sammy goes to SmackDown yeah. to compensate and then Kev is just left livid. Like Jey Uso, like you ruined my life last year and now you've <laughs> taken my friend away. Like I like that potentially yeah. until Ross went, it'll probably just be Cody Rhodes. I went, of course it'll be Cody Rhodes. <laughs> of course it'll be Cody. We're going it's again. always Cody. He's got to finish the story. Speaking of SmackDown, uh, 
lovely news regarding LA Knight, thanks mm. to our friends at WrestleVote. Yeah, so WrestleVote's saying the the latest talent board, which is used internally, saw an update post-payback on the 3rd of September. Interesting news from the SmackDown side, still lists LA Knight as the top babyface. In addition, Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits are now categorized as heels. WrestleVote's then went on to reveal that EO Sky is listed as the top heel on the female roster for SmackDown. But so, what a get for LA Knight. LA Knight, top babyface. It's in I, doubt. Yeah, I, think, I don't think there's any doubt there with it. <laughs> Listen to the crowd response. Uh, we just need to find the right program for it. Mm. We just need that one king-making performance. Like, one big, long feud to sink his teeth into, man. Because it's been a bit bitty, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been like just drips and drabs. And it's like every post-show press conference for Triple H going, we know, we know he's popular. And it's like, stop waiting. <laughs> if you wait too long, then it's not going to work. you got to get it. It's got to be just now, organically. Go for it, go for it. This is me striking while the iron is hot. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Can't iron this shirt now. Yeah, I think I'm bleeding that, everywhere. <laughs> blood everywhere, mother. The fact that obviously the crowd reaction suggests that he's the top baby face, but yeah. now this is WWE backstage leaning into it and internally going, yeah, he's top guy on SmackDown. Yeah. They have to, absolutely have to. And whether this will lead to, as you say, that thing to see could sink his teeth into, short run with Roman? I mean... Is that too much? Maybe, because you know that that's going to be met with a brick wall ultimately at the end. Yeah, I So guess. I think you need something else, maybe. The Let's US move him title. toward the... Yeah, maybe the US title. Mm. The US title could do with another long reign. Long. Like, you know, like like the IC title. We've got Gunter right now just going on a tear about to absolutely BTFO Wayne uh, and become the greatest of all time. <laughs> so I think the US title could really use something like that as well. Like a really nice long reign with, with just somebody who can, who has that charisma, right? I, yeah. I think LA Knight's a no-brainer for that. The Kavorka will reign supreme on SmackDown at some point. Mm. Just trust the process. It's never done us wrong so far. <laughs> it has. We'll have more wrestling news throughout the day at Cultaholic.com. Stay safe. Love you. Bye.